So we've taken a look at addition, subtraction, and multiplication. We'll finish things off by taking a look at division. Now division in x86 is primarily working based off integer division, which means that it's going to give you some sort of result as well as a remainder for that division. We'll see what that means as we continue on with learning about the operation. But there's a few main key points that we want to look at. So similar to multiplication, the main operator that we have is going to be stored at EAX. This is going to be the thing that is being divided. And then we are going to use a different register. In this case, I'll use ECX to give us the other part of our division. In this case, what would happen with our division operator is we would take the EAX value, 11, we would divide it by the other register, which would be two. In this situation, the result would be five, since five times two is equal to 10, is the closest thing that we can get to 11. So it'd be five with a remainder of one. And what's gonna happen is EAX is gonna get the result, which would be five. EDX is gonna get the remainder, which would be one. So let's take a look at how we do this. So for div, similar to multiplication, since EAX is assumed as the destination, we just need to give the other operand, which is ECX. And then as we often do, we'll interrupt with an ADH. Now, when I quit out of this and I go ahead and load up my program here, what we'll see is generally that exact idea that EAX will contain the result, EDX will contain the remainder. So let's go ahead and see that. We'll break at start and let's take a look at this. So we get both of our results loaded into our registers. We do our division. If I take a look at EAX, that gives me five. Remember, five is the result since five times two is equal to 10, which is the closest we can get to 11. By that logic, the remainder is going to be stored in EDX. And as you can see, it is a remainder of one. So this is generally the way that the vision works. It's not really too complicated. It's just things are stored in a bunch of different places. So we just have to know where to look to find our results. Now, one final thing that I'll note here is we have the I div as well. Much like I multiply, it's going to be taking a look at signed values. So it will just assume that everything is signed. So generally, if we were going to take a look at something like, you know, example that we've looked at before, which was like 0xff, something like that, you know, this would be negative one and it would be divided by two, right? So that's the general idea of what we could see with an I div. So it's just going to interpret everything as signed instead of unsigned. So with that, you'd understand division as well as signed division. And we've now covered all of the basic arithmetic operators, that being add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.